Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy with my life as Geek Guy. On this channel, I create videos on beauty tips, product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice in the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Today's video, I'm going to show you how I shave my face. If you're like, what? Women shave? Women shave too. It's just not something that women like to talk about a lot, but we are human. We do grow hair, just not as thickly as men do, obviously, but we still grow hair on our face. And you know it, otherwise you wouldn't have searched up this video. I know this isn't a step for everyone. If you're someone with like really light hair or hair that's basically the color of your skin or it's a really tiny little bit of peach fuzz, then you might want to skip this step. But the reason that I do this is that I find that Besides exfoliating my skin, it actually helps my makeup apply a lot more smoothly and a lot more flawlessly. Especially since I have darker, thicker black hair basically, which you can see on my skin, like on my upper lip, sometimes down here in the sides of my face, like I mean, and my eyebrows, I mean, we all got a groom, you know? So again, if you have super fine blonde hair or light hair that you really can't see, then you might want to just skip this video altogether. But if you're like me and you have darker, coarser hair or you want to know how to make your makeup apply a lot more smoothly, then you might find this video helpful. Now to shave your face, you really only need one thing. I use these little razors. I believe these are called, the brand is called Tinkle Razors and they're marketed as an eyebrow shaver. I will definitely leave them linked in the description box down below and the really good thing about these I think they come in like a pack of three and you can use them more than once just make sure that you clean them really well after every time that you use them so I'm gonna show you how I shave my face I really only need to do this once maybe twice a month if that I'd also recommend doing this in the evening before you go to bed not just when you're about to apply makeup on top of it afterwards. The reason being, when you're removing the peach fuzz off the surface of your skin, you're also doing a process called exfoliation, which is basically another anti-aging routine process, if you will. It's removing the dead layer of skin off the surface of your skin, allowing newer and younger skin to come through. The reason for doing it at night is that after you've shaved your face, applying all the serums, moisturizer, anti-aging creams, whatever treatments that you apply on the top of your skin will absorb a whole lot more deeply into your skin because your face is clear, it's open to all of these products. So yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna scoot you guys in a little bit closer and you can see all my uh, blemishes, but that's okay. So the way that I would do this is without any moisturizer or serums or anything on the surface of your skin, I would pull the skin upwards, just like you would when you're shaving your legs or any other areas of your body. I would pull the skin upwards and instead of having the razor straight laying flat against your skin or straight against your skin like this. I'd have it on a bit of an angle and just really lightly with soft gentle strokes remove all that peach fuzz. Now it's really important not to press too hard because then that will leave little cuts on the surface of your skin and you really don't want that. And I would also recommend going in downward motions instead of upwards because then that'll cause ingrown hairs in your skin as well. So go in the direction that the hair is growing. Also, hair doesn't typically grow under the eyes. I would recommend skipping under the eye area altogether because that is a super delicate area and you don't want to risk cutting your skin under there. But I do have a fair bit of hair growing over here on my cheekbone area. So I'll really gently scrape the hair away from that area there. And also, as usual, under the eyebrows. But I would normally tend to just pluck my eyebrows instead of shaving them. In small, gentle motions. It's almost like scraping the hair off. Don't press too hard because you don't want to actually cut your skin. Also, excuse my nails. I know they're gross. It's kind of an accurate representation of my life right now. <laughs> Not really, but kind of low key it is. Now, if you're worried about this making your hair grow back thicker, I've been shaving my face for years. And as you can see, I don't have any black spots or discoloration. I just have a little bit of shadow on my upper lip and that's where my hair tends to grow the most thickest. But other than that, it's not really that much of a shadow. Sometimes if it gets really super thick, then I will use my epilator. But I mean, for the most part, it's not that big of a problem. can't pull your skin upwards I mean obviously you don't want to do that here because that's 
not cute. <laughs> You don't have to always pull at your skin, just try and keep your skin as taut as possible so that the hairs sort of stand out and make it easier for the razor to access them and cut them off as close to the skin as possible. Now it's really important to use soft, gentle downward motions instead of long stroking motions so that you don't run the risk of cutting your skin or over shaving in one area. For my forehead, I try and get as close to my hairline as possible, but not so high up that my hairline actually recedes. So I'm really just going to focus on the places where there's a little bit of peach fuzz and completely avoid the hairline here. And especially focusing in areas that'll help prevent my eyebrow from joining my actual hairline because hair grows here. <laughs> Anytime you get anywhere close to your eyes, take your time, go slow. You do not want to risk cutting your eyes, hurting yourself or anything like that. Also, you don't want to run the risk of accidentally cutting off part of your eyebrow because I've done that before. After you've done that, you're going to want to gently wipe off all of that extra dead skin and baby fuzz off your face and after you shave always always be sure to apply a soothing lotion or some serum over the top of it help calm down the skin because basically you've given a little bit of a roughing up so you're gonna want to apply something over the top of that that'll soothe it and calm down the redness so that's how I shave my face it's a very quick and easy process it really doesn't take a whole lot of time and honestly you really don't need to do it very often and if at all really only in the places that you need it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. Follow me on all my other social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are live at Geek Guy. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your time and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.